Naomi Watts mourns grandmother after her death at 99 following her massive stroke three weeks ago. We're all in pieces. She's laughing with the angels. Watts' friend Glenn Close commented on Watts' Instagram tribute Naomi Watts is grieving the death of her. Nana. The feud Capote vs. The Swan Star, 55, announced on Thursday, August 29, that her grandmother Nikki Roberts died three weeks after having a massive stroke. She was 99. In an Instagram tribute, paired with a carousel of photos of Roberts with four generations of family members, Watts wrote about her grandma's legacy and emphasized how her spirit will never leave us. She is such a huge part of who I am, her core values, her work ethic, and her mischievous humor and joy of life. Watts wrote in her caption. On her Instagram stories, the two-time Oscar nominee said she last saw Roberts in person in October and that they talked for the final time on Monday, August 26, via video call. We will miss you so much, Watts said. Roberts had celebrated her 99th birthday on August 16, a milestone she wanted to reach after surviving her stroke in early August. She had one more goal to meet. Her 99th birthday. One more party. One more family gathering, noted Watts, who included photos from that final family gathering and other precious life moments in the Instagram tribute. My mom and aunts are all in pieces today, but we know what a great life she had. She just kept cracking on because she loved her life and her family. The Mulholland Drive and 21 Grams actress continued. She lived three more weeks after a massive stroke because, in full beast mode, she showed us that when she was finally ready to peg it, she'd peg it. The first photo in the tribute was an image of Watts and her mom Mafanwi Edwards with Roberts at a 2015 New Year's Eve party in Sydney. I'll never forget her wicked laugh, her feisty spirit, her no-nonsense attitude, her no-waste policy. Watts said, She'd be trimming the mold off the bread and cheese. You don't need an expiration date. That's what a nose is for. Grannies are the greatest. May her stories and memories live on. Her brother, photographer Ben Watts, also remembered their grandmother on his Instagram stories, writing, Goodbye, Nana. Rest easy. You taught Naomi and I so much when we lived with you, to save and reuse things, don't be wasteful and charity starts at home. Meanwhile, the Watts' famous friends sent their condolences. She's laughing with the angels. How blessed your family is to have had her. Glenn Close commented on the tribute, while Julianne Moore wrote, I'm so sorry for your loss. What a beautiful person.